is Madam Nightshade. Uh, happy Monday. Hope yours was better than mine. Um, it's been a long day. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make someone go away uh, using a lemon. Um, I actually did this yesterday at the river. Um, I have a friend whose husband's kind of a I'm not a nice person, so we're going to make him go away. Um, anyway, so what you need is a lemon, a knife or your anthem, whatever your ceremonial, whatever. I just use my, my Fury, whoop, my Rusty Fury, um, some parchment paper, and these are just squiggles because I did this for real yesterday. I'm just kind of reenacting it for you guys. But what I did is I wrote their full name, first, middle, last, and their date of birth um, vertically like this as many times as I could fit it. So you're going to need that. Um, I have some rusty nails here. Um, as many as you want. I just grabbed four. I think I used five or six yesterday. But some nails. Um, some sulfur. Uh, yesterday I also used uh, prison dirt. I mixed prison dirt and uh, sulfur together. Um, you're going to need an offering. Um, yesterday we used these little cuties. I just put three of them uh, with it. And then I also used my High John the Conqueror root oil again. Uh, like I said, I just grated the high john root a little bit and left it in here um and i used this to anoint my hands yesterday before i did anything so oh and some aluminum foil okay so the first thing i did is i took the lemon and i cut it in half horizontally like that and then what i did is i took the parchment paper with his name and I folded it away from myself three times. Like this. Boop. And what I did is I placed it inside the lemon. And I took um, my sulfur and prison dirt mixture and I put some in here. I'm not going to do it for real, but... Um, I put it on top of this and then I put the other half of the lemon on and I took the meat, the nails and I, holy crap, that paper's thick. I pierced it to keep it together. And the whole time, you know, I was just... Um, uh, praying or chanting, whatever you want to call it, over and over that so-and-so will go away and not cause harm to anyone in the process, pretty much. So, I pinned it together, like so. And then what I did is I placed it in the aluminum foil. And then again, I took the, the second part of my uh, prison dirt sulfur mixture and I covered the lemon. And I'm using the aluminum foil for two things. One, to keep it all together. And two, it acts as a mirror. So he is literally trapped in, you know, in his device to get away. Essentially, he's trapped in here. Um, in his torment, but I just wrapped it all up nice and tight. And what I did is I took it down to the river and I left it in kind of the murky, yucky part of the river. Um, but when we get the next big rain, it will wash it away. So the energy from the river will will make this work. You know, it'll add energy to it and keep it flowing. But first, he's going to kind of sit in his own torment torment and personal hell 
for now. Um, until, until the river spirits decide to wash him away and take him away forever. So I left the lemon and the, I left three little cuties at the river as my, my thank you and offering, uh, And that was it. That was that was all I did. I let uh, the uh, elements there at the river, the water element that lives there. Um, what is that smell? Oh, that sulfur. Shaking it around was not a good idea. Woo! Um, <laughs> sorry guys. Um, but there's a an elemental that lives there, and that was. Um, you know, I asked her to take care of him and then left the offering as thank you. So if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm also starting a series on my other channel this Sunday with Crescent Moon. We are doing a, a series called the, Sci the Science Within Witchcraft. We're going to kind of break down some... Um, instruments that we use um, and how they work in the craft as well as scientifically and how they kind of go together. So uh, that'll start next Sunday. So I will be posting on my regular channel again, getting back into the groove of things. But if you guys have any questions, let me know. Um, and then until next Monday, have a great day guys. Bye.